we're Emily and Danny, and we've been traveling by van for four years with our cat Graham and our dog Sombrita. We've drove all the way from Alaska to the border here with Chile and Argentina. We're going to Argentina! And we are getting there on the day my visa expires, <laughs> which is a little scary. To get to the border, we still have to pick up the pet paperwork. Last time, we went to the vet with some Rita and Graham, and then we went to the government office, filed the paperwork with them. Now they had over a couple days to finalize the paperwork, and yeah, we're going to go and pick it up. This time it wasn't too expensive. So it's just about $20 each pet, not too bad. But okay. the other big thing is we need insurance to drive in Argentina. So I got this WhatsApp contact that can do the insurance online for us, which is really nice and easy. We should get that insurance just in time, electronically. We're gonna have to print that out. We just got a new registration that Danny brought back from the US. So we have to make copies of that. So excited for Argentina. A new country, new flavors and people and new landscapes. I'm stoked. Well, I'm really glad that we stayed in Chile as long as our paperwork allowed us to. You know, it's the tallest country and it really is enormous top spot. There's plenty more of Chile that we're going to see. This might be some of our favorite parts, I think. This is the parts that everyone always raves about heading into South America, so. I'm excited to check all that out. I remember when we were up in Alaska and we saw all those glaciers, so many glaciers, and we thought, wow, it's gonna be crazy to make it to the very bottom of South America and be seeing the glaciers there. We didn't expect to be seeing them in Colombia already, there's glaciers. Yeah. At the equator, there's glaciers. But now I think we won't have to go on a 16 mile hike to get to these glaciers. I'm really glad that the last thing we did in Chile was go to that beautiful beach camp spot. Yeah. Oh, what a perfect way. Really rounded out our experience here in Chile. We're going to head down to springtime and then summer in the southernmost point of South America. And up there, you guys are going to be heading into wintertime. This border is a natural border by mountains. So we're going to be heading up into the mountains. There's a ski mountain over here, but it looks like we're not going to make it. On the Argentinian side, there's two more ski mountains, but a lot of beautiful lakes that we're going to be able to check out. It shouldn't be a very hard border crossing. They do care about having fruits and vegetables. We've been trying to eat all of our fruits and veggies this past week. Another huge thing about Argentina is the money. Oh my gosh. It's super weird. If you just try and get money out of an ATM with your debit card, you get a horrible exchange rate. Download the Western Union app, put money in Western Union, and then head to a shop and pick it up. You get like two times a better rate for their money. But we'll get a really good rate if we bring the US dollars through the Western Union app. We'll get about double the official rate, so excited. Everything should be super cheap if we do it the right way like that. It is a little more difficult, but honestly, I don't think it's more difficult than having to barter for gasoline like we had to do or something like that. You know, like it's not gonna be that hard. The last thing we gotta do is get these bikes put away because my bike's still in a bag from taking it to the States when I went to my uh, Willis funeral. If I can get that out of the van, we'll have a lot more living space in here and look a lot less crazy at the border. So authorities tend to appreciate that. We made it to this campsite right near the border so we can have an early start heading into Argentina tomorrow. A little expensive, but that's mostly because we don't pay for Campgrounds usually, it was 15,000 Chilean pesos, and that's $15 uh, US. So the pets are exploring a lot and they're having a good time. Yep, we're just gonna wrap up the final things, probably give the van a nice clean, and be ready for the border in the morning.
Whoa, got the bike together. But this just freaking exploded. It was smoking in here. Holy. So we've been carrying around this tire for a while. It's definitely going in the trash. <laughs> Check out how this thing exploded. So I think it's because of the tire though. Looks like a weak sidewall right there. I thought I was done. <laughs> you know, that popped off and it actually hit me in the chest right here. Traveling with a bike. Let's we'll see how it works. Honestly, that was the easy part. Now we gotta cram all this stuff in the trunk. Tetris level 100. Ready for the border. So when Danny's parents came to visit us, they came with a dog DNA test for Sonrita. We already did one for Graham. Yeah, we're about to look at the results. I'm super excited to find out the type of dog Sonrita is because they said mini lab whenever they identified her whenever we were adopting her. We got your DNA test results back. So let's find out some Rita's DNA. 51% pit bull. <laughs> oh my gosh. 10% boxer. 9.8% Labrador. 7.2% German Shepherd. 5% Rottweiler. And 16.5% Super Mutt. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, you're all mixed. So we got some Rita. She was found at a dump by herself. She was just all alone without mom or the rest of her litter with her. She was taken in by a adoption agency in La Paz, Mexico. We decided to foster her during the pandemic because we thought this is gonna be boring. We'll get a dog and we'll see how it goes. And yeah, after about a couple days, we decided that we would keep Sombrita forever. The people that found her didn't even see the mom or any other dog around her. So said she was going to be 45 pounds and she is 60 pounds. So <laughs> they didn't really know what kind of dog Sombrita was going to be whenever we <laughs> picked her up. And we've always been super curious because honestly, Labrador, um, she's a little bit too skinny to be a lab and she's a terrible retriever. <laughs> she doesn't play fetch very well. So I've always been really curious whether or not she actually is a lab or if she's just black with kind of a lab like face and people just assume that lab, <laughs> but this doesn't change anything. Sombrita, we love you so much. So this DNA test came with a wolfiness score. <laughs> the wolf ancestry has survived a really really long time in the genes and Sombrita's is 0.6 percent so that's a, a low wolfiness score <laughs> oh you're not very wolfy but you are cute there are some relatives of Sombrita's that also did the same dna test which is kind of cool farley was one of nine puppies found stranded in cabo san lucas by a creek she now lives in Victoria. <laughs> the dog is just like Sombrita. <laughs> wow, so yeah, it looks like we found Sombrita's sister. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> wow, I love this thing. Thanks so much, Eusebia and Andy, for Sombrita's doggy DNA test. We're going to head to bed now and try and chill out before the border. Let's head to Argentina! Oh, super stoked. I hope there's empanadas right after the border. We're both like pretty nervous, honestly, about my visa and the temporary vehicle import permit for the van because <laughs> they should be expiring today. So I'm just like really, really hoping what they mean is 
Expiring today. Yeah. Today. I read the paperwork and that's what it sounds like. Yeah. And not hopefully not like it expired yesterday and it's no longer functioning today. So yeah, we're really hoping that it's okay and that we, you know, make it through this border without paying any fines or doing anything like that. When it comes to the empanadas, they say Argentina has the best in the world. stamped out of Chile and we're heading over to Argentina. We got the stamp in our passports and we canceled the cars paperwork as well. We need one paper they're going to look at right now. They didn't say anything about my visa expiring today. I'm on vacation now. I know I feel so good because I was so scared. Buenas. Buenas. Okay. Gracias. Hasta Adios. luego. Wow, look at this. Look at this line of cars. Wow, Chile's popular. Yeah, we made it in. I was so nervous about my visa expiring today, but he saw Dandy's paperwork started like in September, so he kind of just assumed my paperwork also started in <laughs> September. <laughs> and that's, I don't know, it's so he never funny. Mentioned it. He never was like, oh, it expires today. He yeah, never... yeah, he didn't say anything about it expiring today, especially because the van paperwork also expires today, so yeah. At one point, he just said, Oh, September, good. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so here's a tip. <laughs> oh, and I was just gonna say one other thing about the pet paperwork. We made sure to check with the our agriculture sector guy. So he said that pet paperwork is good for 60 days. And he said, don't lose this paper, get a copy of it, do whatever, because this is your pet's passport, so. <laughs> and at this point, our cell phones no longer work until we get a new SIM card. We started really early today, so we'll definitely be able to get a SIM card once we cross. Do you know what SIM card you want? Uh, Rob said that he used Claro and then it was good. At this point, we have just about 30 or 40 minutes in the no man's land. It's supposed to be very beautiful, so let's check it out. There should be some nice landscape here. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Where you're going, you can rest your head. Where you're going, brightness looks. Got the vehicle paperwork. We're stamped in, and the agents have been very funny and friendly. Wow, they're so great here. I'm loving Argentina. Jokes, jokes, no masks. Perfect. Okay, so we got the pet papers, but we noticed on the car's paperwork they messed up the VIN number, one letter, so might as well get that sorted. Wow, back in the van. Gotta pull forward and Graham's been chilling <laughs> up here. Yeah, and there was guys that said in there they have a dog and Danny was like, we have two, we have two pets. <laughs> so we just gotta get inspected here. Yeah. So this is uh, gonna be easy, I hope. All right, well, that inspection is smooth, huh? Yeah, the ladies were super nice. They were excited to see the cat and the dog. Yeah, barely wanted to see anything, huh? Yeah, it was funny when I opened the back doors and there's that big Chilean flag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They said, you have gas in there? It's, there's just extra water, you know? Right. And when I said water, they were like, oh, cool, cool. At first they were gonna bring some other guy to, to take a look, but then I was like, no, it's just water. They're like, oh, great. They didn't make me take out anything. They just looked in and were like, sweet. And now we're going to do our final check. This guy will make sure that we have all of our papers and it's really a good fail safe for us, for Argentina, every country has this. Very exciting moment. This is the last step of the border crossing. Hola. Buenos días. Buenos días. Chao. Woo!
Argentina! Yes! Argentina's Amazon! The band made it! The pets made it! The people! We didn't have to pay anything! Oh, you didn't even ask for the insurance, but we got it. That's a weight off the shoulder. Everything in Chile went well. Yeah. The the dates were okay. They good job. Oh, it really helps rolling up to the border with a clean van. Always. And just like, oh yeah, these people look like they did the right stuff. We're yeah. not even gonna ask if there's a fridge. It seemed like they went through other people's cars more than our car. Oh, way more other people's. They were taking out stuff. Yeah, they were like, oh, you have a whole thing of masks. But me and Emily got it down. We just open the door and we just stand there. <laughs> and hey, if they want to ask us to look at something, we will. I'm not going to help you go through my stuff. We're just going to show you where my stuff is and then you can go through it if you want. The only border where they have asked me to take anything out of the trunk really was entering, I think, um, was that Nicaragua? Or? Yeah, Nicaragua. She said we're going to take everything inside and we're going to x-ray. And I said, I, you see how many things I have in here? Come yeah, on. this and this, and you were like, well, that's dirty laundry. Are you sure you want that? And she was like, no. <laughs> Nicaragua was a tough border crossing. It yeah. took, yeah. even leaving, it took probably three hours, five hours maybe. Yeah. And this one, it's 12 now. We left the campground at 10. There was about an hour's worth of driving. The most tense moment of the border crossing, when we were doing the cars paperwork on the Argentinian side, and the official asked me, oh, you have this paper from Chile? It was something to do with like, oh, the car left Chile, had all the information. And I was like, no, they didn't give us that. And he said, oh, did they give you a paper? I said, yeah, well, we gave it to the, the guard at the exit. That was the only paper they gave us. And I was so worried at that moment that he was gonna say, drive back 40 minutes, get this one piece of paper. He was so nice. Oh my gosh, he was a jokester. Yeah, he was a really, really nice guy, huh? And I think about five or six of the workers in there had a little cup of mate, which is a oh. very Argentinian tea in a group of people where you drink your whole cup and then you prepare it for the next person and you pass it on. It's really a beautiful thing about Argentina. It has a good amount of caffeine. This mate from Argentina is the first very special thing we're going to have to get into. Yeah. And uh, what's the other real Argentinian thing you I want to try? I want a banana! We were at the BMX competition in Santiago. The winner was Argentinian. And our friend said, oh, how are the empanadas here in Chile? And the guy said, you don't even know what empanadas are or something like that. <laughs> yeah, in front of the whole place. <laughs> uh, yeah. He said, you got to come to Argentina to get some empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> I was lo just looking at the paperwork, though, and I think it's so cute that the official said that these are basically some Rita and Graham's passports. And this is like the first time that they got stamped, but he left so much room so that they could get a billion stamps on their little passports. Oh, that's so great. Hopefully we won't have to do the pet paperwork every crossing. Yeah, it would be really, really cute, I think. Going further south, you kind of have to go in and out of the border crossings a lot. So it would be nice if this was their only paperwork, but we'll see how it goes. I love how easy that was. Oh my gosh. Just both countries gave us one piece of paper to start, and then the officials had to stamp the piece of paper for every step that we did, and then we handed it to the person at the end. There's no fumbling around, here's the TIP, here's the password, here's the pet paperwork, no. The, like, we just got it stamped on one piece. It was great, just an amazing border crossing. search for some money and we're going to do the Western Union app thing but right now we're looking for the dad. Yay! Okay. Hopefully we can get out some money because we're both starving and we really want to go get some food after this. So we already tried one spot to get uh, money out but he didn't have enough money for our transfer. We wanted 200 and he only had one. So we don't have SIM cards yet. We can't use Google Maps. So we've been asking a lot of people where this kiosk is. And I just love the Argentinian accents. Para ya. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear more of it. Another thing about Argentina that we're both very, very excited for is not having to use masks anymore. Chile was so strict with the mobility pass. You had to wear masks 
all the time, inside, outside. It seemed, I don't know. The second we went into Argentinian migration, they said to the people next to us, you don't need to wear your mask in here. And I was like, this is the first time I haven't worn a mask in inside a public place in like years. And since Danny was just in the U.S., he really got to experience not having to wear a mask all the time. But whenever I was in the U.S., you still had to wear a mask. Pretty excited about not having to wear it 100% of the time. Hey, hey, hey. hey! So I got a SIM card too. I got Claro. Oh, great! And. The inflation has definitely inflated the size of the bills. This is $200. Oh my gosh. But look at that stack. So we can go try the food. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm starving. We're so excited to show you guys our 15th country in the van. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated. If you want to support us a little more, head over to our Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.